Hey everybody and welcome to this video. I'm Inkslaura123 and this is going to be a shopping haul video. So basically I went shopping and in this video I'm going to show you what goodies I bought. Now I really hope you enjoy the video and if you do please give it a like, please comment and please subscribe to my channel because that would be awesome. Okay so I've got a lot of stuff to show you so I'm just going to crack on. Okay so the first thing I want to show you are these really awesome trainers or sneakers or high tops whatever you want to call them i don't know but i just literally love them how funky and bright colored and just cool are these like seriously so these were 15 pound and i got them from i'm gonna have to show you the bag and hopefully be able to say the name of this shop normally i just say the german shoe shop in town whenever i talk about this shop but i think it's Deichmann or Deichmann, Deichmann, I don't know. Um, that's where I got them. <laughs> so literally, I mean, what's not to love? I absolutely love these rainbow laces. These are great. I love the stars. I love the like blotches of colour all round and just, they're just cool. Like, I just love them so much. And they're really, really super, super, super comfortable. So yeah, I got these. Also, I uh, picked up a couple of night dresses. I nipped into Primark, which is definitely one of my favourite shops ever. I love the Primark. So I've got this night dress here. And this has got Beauty and the Beast design on. Move that out of the way. So this was £5. How cute is this? This is just adorable. I love the colouring as well. Like this really lovely like light blue colour. Um, so yeah, I've got that. Okay, and I also got this kind of um, Looney Tunes kind of themed one. Look at this. My mum loves this because it's got Tweety Pie on it and she loves Tweety Pie. In our um, front room downstairs, we've got all these ornaments of Betty Boop and Tweety Pie because she, like, it's like her childhood memories kind of thing. She used to go to the cinema with my granddad and watch like films with Betty Boop and uh, Tweety and stuff. So she was like, oh, I like that one when I got it. So got that. Um, so yeah, both night dresses were five pound. I really like Primark's like nightwear. Like it always fits well. It's uh, comfortable material, and of course it's really cheap, which is always a good thing. Bargain. Right. Okay. Next up, I went into Card Factory to get my daddy a birthday card. Can't believe it. Right. My dad's going to be seventy years old. 70 years old on his birthday. Um. Anyway, so <laughs> I got to the till to pay for the card, and. I found this little compact mirror. It was in Card Factory, right at the till bit. You know where they just literally overflow it with all this like random stuff to tempt you to buy extra bits and pieces when you're at the till. Um, but I couldn't resist this little cute face. Look at it, it's just so cute. I love it. Uh, so yeah, it's just a little compact mirror. Um, and yeah, I, I, I was a sucker for that cute little face. <laughs> Anyway, so I got that. I think that was like a pound, 150. I think it was a pound. Wasn't any much more than that. Um, okay, so next up, I went to Waterstones. Got my Waterstones bag there. Love Waterstones. So I picked up this book, which I'd ordered, and um, I'm so excited to read this. Literally, I've waited for like, a long while to read this. So this is by Amanda Foody, and it's called Ace of Shades. Um, so basically, this is the book that I'd read previously from her, if you can see that. So it's called Daughter of the Burning City. If you haven't read it, trust me, it's amazing. Read it. Uh, so yeah, this is supposed to be really good. It's about this girl whose mum goes missing, and she leaves a note to kind of find this man, this mysterious man, and she finds this man, the girl finds this man, and she, he's like involved in like weird stuff, like magical stuff, and uh, he's a bit naughty, and there's lots of gambling and magic and like Sin City kind of stuff, and yeah, I'm really, I'm really excited to read this, and I love the look of it as well, like the playing cards, and just, ooh, love it. Gambling and magic, what a brilliant combination for me, gotta love that. Okay, next up, from Poundland, I picked up <laughs> this little garden ornament here uh, with little two little mushrooms on there. And um, <laughs> it looks a bit weird now I'm holding it up. But anyway, uh, they are mushrooms, I promise you. Uh, so this is just a little Christmas gift. I've got it early for one of my bosses, Nigel, that I work with because he loves mushrooms. It's a bit weird, I know, but he, he literally he loves mushrooms. He picks mushrooms and he eats mushrooms and he just loves all things mushrooms so I saw that I was like oh, I'll put that away for him for a little Christmas present so yeah got that in Poundland 
Um, oh, 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 oh my God, love these. Look at these earrings, got these from Claire's Accessories. Look at the colouring, it's really cool. Um, so yeah, they're like purple and green and blue and just, yeah, and I love the size of them as well. I like big, like, earrings, so. Yeah, these were, I think, 450? Yeah, 450. So, yeah, I absolutely, literally, I saw them in the window as I was walking past, and uh, I was like, wow, that's a good them. Um, I just love it, look at that. Okay, so anyway, I've got those earrings from Claire's Accessories. Um, now this isn't a very exciting thing to show in a shopping haul, but there we go. Not everything's going to be exciting. I got some Corsidel Bleeding Gums Toothpaste. Yeah, basically, I'm not going to go into it too much. It's a bit gross. You don't want to know about it. Um, I have got gingivitis at the moment. <laughs> uh, basically, my, my gums are very sore and inflamed and they've been bleeding, blah, blah, blah. Um, it's okay. I've been to the dentist and I've seen the hygienist. I had a good old clean and stuff with a hygienist which really hurt but I know it's for the good I know it's gonna help my my gums and teeth so I kind of suffered the prodding and the scraping and stuff um but yeah basically um this is I've got to use it for like two weeks they did give me some little samples from the dentist but the samples are like that big so they're not gonna last so I thought I'd just pick up a tube so I've got this in Sainsbury's for like three pound it's on special offer. Um, sometimes I've used the Corsidel mouthwash, which is also good, but um, because my gums have been bleeding, this is supposed to be even better, um, just for like, you know, for the two weeks for me to use. So anyway, that's that. I can't really say much more exciting stuff about Corsidel toothpaste, but there we go. Next up, look at this. Woo! <laughs> so I got this uh, in the market, actually. Every Thursday and Saturday morning, we have a market in South End High Street. And I just saw this, it was a pound. I was like, yeah, I'm getting that <laughs> for the garden. It's so cool. And when I saw it, it was a little bit windy. So they were all kind of spinning round at once and it did look really cool. And obviously when the sun reflects on all the different colors, I just, yeah, I really like it. So put that in the garden. I got this t-shirt for my dad. Because uh, as I say, it's going to be his birthday soon. I'm going to give him money because then he can just like choose what he wants, you know. Um, but I wanted to get him a few little extra bits just so I can wrap something up. Otherwise, it's like, here's some money, which is a good thing, obviously. But I also want to kind of give him some presents wrapped up as well, you know. Uh, so I got him this t-shirt from Primark, which I think is pretty cool. It's definitely his style. Like He wears stuff like this. So, And it was only 2 50 I mean, literally 2 50 What a bargain. But I think you'll really like that. I like it. I love the colouring, especially that red. So, yeah, picked up that for my dad. What else have I got? I've got a couple of swimsuits here. So, I've got this kind of army camo colour. Is that the wrong way? There we go. I thought I had it upside down. So, this is this one. Love this colouring. Look at that. Love a bit of camo. I do love a bit of camo. And look at the back. It's like all this kind of crisscross detail on it. There we go, look at that, I like that. And it has got a bit of padding in the booby area, so hopefully that will give the boobs a bit of a, a bit of a lift, you know, a bit of a boost. So, a bit of support. Yeah, no, I really like that actually, it's lovely. And I also got this swimsuit here, which um, is a gorgeous blue colour. There we go. Look at that, you've got the blue and the red and the white, so. Yeah, I love this so much. Such a lovely colour. And I, I like this and that. And yeah, it's really cool. So I got that. And don't forget, carry on watching. End of the video, uh, you will see what the clothes look like on me. Right, I've shown you my earrings, haven't I? Shown you those. Yeah, shown you those. Um, I've got this little tote bag from Poundland. Look, it's 101 Dalmatians. I love that film, literally. I was obsessed with it as a kid. I used to be really terrified of Cruella de Vil. Like, literally, I would go to bed and worry that she was going to come get me. <laughs> um, but, yeah, anyway. So, they, I think they're so cool. I've got a, quite a few of the Disney tote bags from Poundland, but uh, I think this must be a new one because I've not seen this one before. Look at that. I love it. Okay, so I've got that. Um, also in Poundland, I picked up... Because, um, obviously, it's the summer and soon and, you know... We have our little barbecues. We've got a barbecue and uh, Nathan does the barbecue. I have vegetarian 
uh, burgers, obviously, um, and he has his real meat burgers, but he always like leaves a space so they're not sort of touching or anything. So that's all right. Um, so yeah, I got up. I got up. <laughs> I got this room. Ignore me. I'm not wearing it today. Um, I got this room. It's a barbecue cleaner um, with wire brush and metal scraper. So as you can see under there, so it just goes like in between. There we go. So that was good for a pound. I saw one like this in Sainsbury's and it was like fiver. So they've got quite a lot of barbecue stuff in Poundland at the moment. So if you do have a barbecue and stuff, check out their range of stuff because it's cool. Um, also, from that range of barbecue stuff, I got a, a burger press. There we go. It's a burger press. So, I mean, I don't do the cooking. He does it all. I just eat a bit of it. But he, he does all the cooking and stuff. But I think... I assume you put the burger like in there and you just like, <laughs> like press it. Maybe the clue is in the title, burger press. press. Anyway, I don't know. But I've got it for him to use. It's a pound. I don't know. He might not want it. He, he might use it. I don't know. Um, and also, this he definitely needed. So this is the barbecue lighter and it's um, one of these kind of long, you know. It is a clipper one as well, which is the official... Um, proper one barbecue lighter adjustable flame and refillable <laughs> this actually um <laughs> this come up because I, I was doing the self-serve when i was paying and it come up because obviously they have to check the over 18 and the guy come up to me and he was like are you over 18 i was like yeah i'm 38 okay <laughs> I was like, okay. but it's kind of flattering because you know maybe i, I don't look that i'm uh, over 18 mm. You're probably watching this now going, yeah, you do. Yeah, you do. But anyway, so I've got this, <laughs> got this for Nathan to do the barbecue with. Um, also from Poundland, I got these two, which I think are super cute. <laughs> I've called one Cyril and one Cedric. I don't know why, but I, I just, I don't know. I just thought one looked like a Cedric and one looked like a Cyril. I don't know. Maybe that's just me. Um, so originally I was just going to get one. But then he was sitting right next to him and there was some other bits and pieces, like ornaments. And these were the, just the two sitting there and I was like, oh, I can't leave them. I'm so weird, I know. But anyway, so I picked up two of them and they can be a little happy couple. And yeah. <laughs> okay, right. So next up, also from Poundland, um, I got this Dice Money Box. This is new in as well. They had some uh, few new things in there. So basically, if I show you, it's red and white. They've also got the black and white one. Apparently there's a, a pink and white, but I didn't see that one. I saw the black and white one, but I like the red one. It's a bit dusty. All right, so yeah, basically, yeah. Put your money in, get it out of the bottom. Um, but yeah, I'm literally obsessed with dice. So I even have a dice tattoo. Um, on my leg. Random information you might not have known about me, but yeah, I have a, a dice, and it's a red dice tattoo on my leg, but saying that, it's faded over the years, so it looks kind of off red. But originally when I had it done, the tattoo was really bright red. So anyway, I got that. And I think, apart from this one last thing that I've got to show you, that is it, I think. Hmm. Um, so, okay, this is really embarrassing. I don't know why it's really embarrassing, but I just find it really embarrassing. I feel like I'm doing a shopping haul back in the 90s when I show you this. Um, but basically, I bought myself a portable CD player. See, it's a little bit embarrassing. And it's Alba as well. It's not like a trendy, cool <laughs> brand. It's Alba. Cheapest one in Argos that I could find. But it did have good reviews, so yeah. Basically, I love listening to my old CDs. I know you can listen to music in a more modern way. Um, but sometimes I just like going through my CDs and, you know, just listening to old CDs of albums and singles that I've had. Because when I was younger, I used to really collect so many CDs, so many, like, albums and singles. And, yeah, so I keep them in this little, like, folder thing and go through them sometimes. And I went to listen to them the other day. A um, little bit of the Backstreet Boys, not going to lie. <laughs> Squid playing games with my heart. Um, and it wouldn't work. My CD player that I'd had literally years would not work properly. And I was like, oh. So I thought it was a CD. I tried another CD. It still wouldn't work. Anyway, basically changed the batteries. That didn't work. Realised that <laughs> it was gone. Dead, basically. So I had to get a new one because I just really enjoy listening to my old CDs and stuff. So, yeah, I mean, this... I haven't even opened the box, actually. I've got it from Argos. I think it's, like, £12. 
um, but it had really good reviews people are oh you know it's really cheap but it does the job and I've got some good headphones in work as well so I mean some people say oh the sound's not that great but they could have been using really crap headphones but other people are like oh it's really good for the money you know easy to use and stuff so here we go oh it's silver in the Argos book it looked black maybe it's the same one mind you it's silver on the box anyway so here it is <laughs> how cool is this though I don't even know how to open it why is it open do you just pull it open <laughs> this is embarrassing oh no how does it open my one you just used to press a little button and it opened oh I'm gonna have to get Nathan's oh here we go there we go it's this button here Boom, it's open up. Okay, so this is pretty cool. Remove this card before playing. Okay, I'll take that out. Um, so yeah, batteries go under here. So that's cool. Okay, so that's my new little CD player. I'm not going to go out with it. Like, I'm not going to walk around with it. But just when I'm sitting, you know, indoors, I can listen to my CDs. Okay. <laughs> anyway, tell me what you like the best out of everything you've seen. And uh, I love these. Just literally... I don't know if you can love a shoe, but I love, I love a shoe. Um, yeah, so comment down below, give it a like this video if you liked it. Please subscribe to my channel. And don't forget to click that little notification bell as well, then you can see when I upload videos, do live streams, that kind of thing. Um, so what I'm gonna do now is try these two swimsuits on and the two night dresses. That's the only clothes I've got on it. Oh, and I'll, I'll put them on as well and take a photo of them, of me wearing them. And the earrings, I can try them on as well. Anyway, I'm just going to take some selfies and add them at the end of the video now. So carry on watching for the selfies and please subscribe to our channel. <laughs>